Hello, Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys have had a very nice holiday weekend so far. I'm going to pull you up on my iPad while you guys are all getting in here. Well, that was easy. Oh, hi, Kelly. You're the first one. Betty comes in in a quick second, and then Jolene, Suzanne, and 14 other people, it says. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, my gosh. It's been so long, hasn't it? Um, if you're on my team, you saw me this week probably a couple times. Yeah. But... Um, if you're not, I've been gone for a little while, right? It's good to be home, but let me just say, Maui, mm, mwah, amazing. It was just amazing. So um, we had a really, really, really good vacation, and oh, it was hard to come home. <laughs> it was beautiful there every day. We went snorkeling twice. Stampin' Up! just does the best for us. It was just an amazing, fabulous trip. And I have lots of goodies to share with you tonight that I got in Maui. I've been keeping them right over there. See this pile of stuff right here? Yeah, I've been keeping all my goodies over there so I wouldn't lose track of them so I could make sure to show them to you. Okay, so I've got something weird going on on my screen. Hang on, I'm gonna click that and then exit out and see if I can get it to go away. Nope, star enabled. Do you guys know what these stars are on Facebook now? There's, it says stars enabled. I don't know, but I don't know. You guys make me feel like a star. <laughs> so, okay, let me get my um, iPad set up here because that is good to go. It's working properly, probably for the first time ever. <laughs> Yay me, winning! So, um, I'm just watching all you guys come in. Hi, Tracy, Lauren, welcome. Lots of fun tonight. Oh my gosh, I have some really pretty cards to share with you. I'm super excited. Lots of new things happening here. Um, Haley and Jared said they might come over this afternoon. Um, they had to go to his side of the family, family friends for some type of a get together. And then they said, well, if they if they got done with that early, they would come over. So I was like keeping my nose to the grindstone, trying to get everything done so that if they did pop in, I would be able to just go downstairs and enjoy my time with the baby and um, not have to worry so that I would be done ready for tonight, right? But they didn't come over. So I might have closed my eyes for 20 minutes. <laughs> But I probably shouldn't tell this to you guys. I don't know why this happened this morning, but I actually slept until almost 11. <laughs> I'm still on Hawaii time. Honestly, it was 6 a.m. there. So I'm figuring that's what happened. And I went to bed about 1.30, so it wasn't anything terrible. But anyways, my um, memorial... Ma -ma -ma -ma. I haven't even been drinking. <laughs> I can't talk. My Memorial Day weekend, um, what did I do? Yesterday, I went rummage sailing with Haley and Val, and uh, that was really fun. We went just buying books, and I'm looking for a stroller, but I think I found one on Facebook Marketplace. I've looked at the stores. I've looked at on Amazon, and they're all just way too expensive. Like, I do not need a $150 stroller, right? So I think I found one on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to go take a look at it and probably buy it tomorrow. I think it was $20, so that's more my speed. We did find a couple of them, two at the same rummage sale for $5, but the one was really hard to push. It was almost like the brakes were on, but it, they weren't. So that was super heavy and hard to push. I didn't like that, but it had a steering wheel on it. So Val loved that. I set her in it, and she was like, Rah! The other one, um, the the harness that clips the, the babies in was broken. So it's like, nope, that's not going to work either. And they were only $5. Oh, I was so disappointed. But anyways, um, wanted to give you a John update. Yeah, things have been happening, people. It's been a couple weeks, right? So John is officially retired. And for those of you that may be new to me, John is our next door neighbor. And I just started reporting on his um, weekly happenings when COVID was going on because we were bored. 
So that was Steve's fun thing to do was to come in and give me a John report just because it's silly and dumb and whatever. So I just have continued on with it. So John is officially retired. He officially turned in his work van truck thing. So that's gone now. We have no more um, obstruction of the driveway. We, we can see fine out the kitchen window now. So that's good. And then um, yesterday when I came home from rummage sailing, it's kind of funny because the back of John's new truck, he's got a new pickup truck, is filled with all this stuff. And I'm like kind of glanced at it. I didn't go over and look in it, mind you. <laughs> Just kind of glanced at it. We share a driveway. And, um, well, he has his own driveway, but they're side by side. There's a chairs in there and suitcases. And I was kind of like, whoa, that's kind of weird. And then later when Steve came home, he looked over at it. He's like, she kicked him out. I'm pretty sure he retired and she's done with him now. <laughs> but no, it's not the case. Um, I think he's cleaning out his father's house, which is like just in his backyard, kitty corner. His dad lived right over there. And um, if you guys remember, his dad passed away uh, not too long ago. And I think he's cleaning out his dad's house. But anyways, when Steve said that she kicked him out, I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> so anyways, that's what's happening with John. Uh, what else is happening? My pool is open as of yesterday, officially. Yay! Oh. You guys know that I live in this old 121-year-old house. And, you know, I've been doing a lot of remodeling or having it done. I haven't been doing it myself. But having a lot of remodeling done because the house needs a lot of work. But I have this amazing swimming pool in my backyard. It's just the weirdest thing. And it's open. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's much better today than it was yesterday, but it's pretty gross. When I show you my new desk, yay! I don't think I did that yet. I showed it to my team, but I didn't show it to you guys. Oh, somebody's having trouble hearing. Hang on, I'm gonna make sure my volume is all the way up, and it is. I just wanna make sure that I'm not doing something to cause you problems with your sound, but I think everybody else can hear me. Yay, thank you guys so much for the welcome back. It's so sweet. Um, yesterday I got all my flowers planted. I went to the Amish greenhouses and bought all my flowers a couple weeks ago before we left for Hawaii. And then I, I put them all in the driveway all together and I didn't plant anything because I thought that would be easier for Jared to water them all if they were just all right there. I didn't hang up any of my baskets or anything. So I got everything hung up. I got my whiskey barrel planted. I got my birdhouse feeder planted. Steve took all of the junk out of our side. We have a side flower bed over here and then the, another side flower bed. He took everything out of it and covered it with that landscape material and then put rocks in. It looks really nice. I'm pretty excited. Um, so I got all my other stuff planted. That was fun. What else? Um, don't let me forget to show you my mail. I have a whole drawer. Look at a whole drawer full of mail here. So I probably won't go through all of it tonight. We'll, we'll save some for um, another night. But I want to let you guys know we have kits coming June 1st. And when I flip my phone around, I will um, show you one of the kits that I got. But we have a little brochure all kinds of cool kits coming. If you would like to get your friends or family started with stamping so that you can have some stamping friends to do it with, these kits are fantastic. One of them, there's not even any stamping involved. So anybody can do it and they make amazing gifts. So um, I'm just watching the comments. Somebody said the sound was echoing in and out. Other people can hear fine. So I'm thinking it might be your connection. I'm really sorry. You might want to close me and come back in that might resolve then it might resolve itself um what else our june our jj mini catalog the january through june mini catalog ends at the end of june but as of the first which is on tuesday i think yep june 1st we are going to have a sale. There's a sale on um, a lot of the items in the JJ Mini catalog. Some of them are gonna be up to 50% off. Ah! I am using um, a stamp set, or I should say a bundle, out of the JJ Mini catalog that is retiring. And like, I, there's a whole story behind it, and I'll, I'll share that with you in a few minutes. But that's it for my notes today. 
Um, oh, we have winners. Let's do that first. And then I'll show you my new desk. Yay. Okay. First of all, if you um, make a comment, if you're watching me, please type a comment. It can be anything. You can just type hello or hi from North Dakota or whatever you want. But when you do that, you're entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And I have all the trimmings, embellishments, and this is for commenting. So everybody goes into a drawing that leaves a comment. Andrea Wordlaw from YouTube, your comment on YouTube is going to get you these fabulous little embellishments, but I need you to email me your address because I don't have it. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stamp above com, and you'll see it. Well, you'll see my blog address when I flip the camera around, but instead of the www, you just put Kelly at and then a stamp above.com. So, Andrea Wordlaw, these will be coming your way as soon as you give me your address. And congratulations! Yay. This is my little unicorn, isn't she cute? Yeah, she lights up and plays music, multi talented. Next up. We have for sharing this video, and um, you can share the video right now. There's a share button on your screen someplace. Click on that share button and share this. That really helps me grow my business, and I so appreciate it. For sharing my last um, Facebook Live video, Marilyn Kurbis, Marilyn Kurbis, you're going to get a pack of the Dandy Garden Memories and More envelopes and card bases. These are so cool. And I do have your address. So watch for those. That's for sharing. Make sure you share my video. I think you can also share it later if you're watching on YouTube. If you're not watching live tonight on Facebook, you can still click on that share button. I really appreciate it. Last but not least, we have a giveaway. Um, this is for everyone who's placed an order with me from the last time I did a Facebook Live. And I have the Soft Pastels assortment. So let me see if I can, oh, these are sealed too. Well, let me see if I can grab mine, hang on. I know I have them here someplace. Oh, everything should be all organized and beautiful, right? Until I destroy it like I'm doing right here. Well, I know they're here somewhere. I haven't used them yet, you guys. One more. Nope. No, no. I don't know where they are. <laughs> but I do want to use them. They're cool. Soft pastels. These are going out to Sarah. And Sarah, I don't know how to say your last name, so hang on with me. Thibodeau? Is that right? From Sheboygan, Wisconsin. T-H-I-B-O-D-E-A-U. Thibodeau. Does that sound right? It sounds kind of French, kind of fancy. These, Sarah, are going to be on their way to you. These are our new pastel chalks, and they're so new that Kelly can't even find hers and hasn't used them. No, you know what? Maybe they're in one of these drawers. I know they're here someplace, you guys. Huh. Oh well, I'll find them. Don't worry. Maybe I'll use them next time we're live. Okay, let me set these aside so I do not lose them. And I think we're ready. Do you guys want to see my new desk? So when I got home, oh, I forgot to do unicorns for the other two drawings. There we go. When I got home, Fred was here while we were gone to Maui. And when I got home, my office smelled like... um polyurethane, you know, that sealer stuff. Yeah, it smelled like that. And I walked into it and it was just gorgeous. And it wasn't all like junked up like it is now again. It was hard to junk it up. I'm not going to lie. So hang tight. I'm going to unplug you. Maybe. Hang on. There we go. Sorry. Sorry for the jiggle. And I am going to Let's see, turn my camera around. Oh, let me come over here by my door. So no judging, my door is still old and you can see it's not finished yet. Yeah, it's old door. We haven't done the doors yet. Oops, oh, hang on, things happened. Here we go. So this is what I came into. This is all new, just the tops. Everything else was here, but this is my new desktop. 
<gasps> Glorious! Here's my video. This is where I do my videos. You can see our Facebook Live right there. Here's where I do my videos. And then here is the rest of my desk. Isn't that amazing? So this part over here, I used to have like a little cabinet there and a couple filing cabinets and I would throw stuff on them. But this, this is exactly what I needed. It is so nice to have all that extra room. So now these baskets over here, that's what we're gonna be making tonight. So now instead of stacking them all over the floor, I can put them over there where I don't have such a mess going on. So that was really cool. And as long as we're up here, I'm going to show you. That's my swimming pool. And it's now light green instead of dark green. So that's really exciting. <laughs> I know it looks pretty gross, but when we opened it up, you couldn't even see the first step. And now we can see the shallow end. You can see how it's so light right here. So anyways, Steve is working really hard on that. And he is doing an amazing job. So let me get you in my holder here. My new phone has been working really good for me. I've been rather impressed with it. Make sure everything's straight. Plug you back in. Ooh, I see him. Hang on. I'm going to... This is funny because look at... He's right there. He's looking at his handiwork. Isn't that hilarious? I wonder if he could hear us. Wave. <laughs> he heard us. kill me <laughs> that's funny anyways yeah so he just got done golfing I was really excited that he got to go golfing he's been working hard all weekend we have kind of a big lawn so he did all the lawn work and then getting that pool ready to go and oh my goodness he has been a busy busy guy okay I think we're ready to start some things here let me find my chair I threw it way over here all right, this is our first kit, you guys. Um, this is this is a brand new kit. We have several of them that are going to be, well, first let's look at this. Creativity Made Easy. Kits are like the bomb right now. They're very popular. And if you get Paper Pumpkin, you'll notice that these are Paper Pumpkin kits. Um, maybe, I don't think that one is, but these other ones for sure are. And I love Paper Pumpkin. It's just fun and makes things easy. And oh, I just love it. But we've also got this new kit called Notes of Cheer card kit. And look how pretty these die cut butterflies are. And this card is actually a butterfly shape. It's just the shape of a whole butterfly. So um, we're not going to be doing anything with this kit tonight. But I just thought I'd show it to you. I haven't even opened it yet. I ordered it while I was in Hawaii. And yeah, you guys remember seeing my little, my computer sitting on our um, patio with a view of the ocean. You get your dimensionals, you get these pretty little, oh, these are like opalescent rhinestones. They're gorgeous. But yeah, and several of you yelled at me, well, when you're in, when you're doing business like what I'm doing, you don't really take a lot of time off per se. Like you don't walk away from your business for days on end. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Look how pretty these are. So when you guys are yelling at me for working, don't worry. I worked as little as I possibly could, but it did take me a couple hours to put a huge order together. Beautiful. But just know when I go on vacation, I do have to check my emails. Otherwise it's a nightmare when I come home because I get so many of them. Note cards, these are all, um, these are full size cards. They're all scored. Oh, look at these. These are so fun. Okay, so this is scored and here is your card, right? Yeah, how cool is this? Now, this will be available to order. This is a great gift. It's a great gift for um, maybe somebody who doesn't have a lot of room to store stamping supplies. Look at these cards. That's pretty. Look at that butterfly dies. Oh my goodness. And like I said, this one, you don't even have to stamp. You have all of these sentiments in several different languages. So I know this is German. Don't know what the rest of them are. But um, look at how pretty that is. These are die cut. Yeah, rainbow colored. Anyways, I just thought I'd share this with you. Oh, and mini glue dots too to stick all this stuff together. 
So this is one of those kits that you need nothing. It's all here. And I was gonna tell you, hang on, I'll look and see how much this one is. I'm gonna bring in my laptop so that you can see what's happening. Let me put that on snooze. So here's the kits. We don't, I don't have a flyer yet with the kits in it. But I think what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on to the Stampin' Up um, store, in my store, and you're gonna type in the word kits and all the kits are gonna come up. Just wanna make sure you can see this. Let me stand up for a second. Oh, it's getting a little too close. Let's move that over. There we go, sorry. Um, but anyways, here's all the kits and that butterfly one I was just showing you is not here. There it is, this one right here. And it's called the Notes of Cheer Card Kit. It's only $12, you make nine cards with envelopes. So these are really, really, oh, remember this kerchief card kit? That was one of our celebration kits. And so was this precious parcel. Whoops, let me get that out there. Precious parcel, say that three times, four or five, card kit. But anyways, we have all these kits coming out. These make fabulous, fabulous gifts. So keep that in mind when you need to buy a birthday present or when you're shopping later, much later for Christmas. Okay, why did I go to my computer? I don't remember. Anywho, <laughs> there's our kit. It comes in this nice little box, just like a paper pumpkin box. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, what are we gonna do first? I think what we should do first is the card. So this, my friends, is the bundle that I'm going to be using for the cards I'm gonna share with you tonight. I'm looking for the guys, so hang on, where did they go? Huh, I don't know. Here they are. Yeah, this is just crazy. There are 23 dies in here. Leaves, flower outlines, flower details. There are just so many fun elements to this bundle. And um, for those of you that kind of know what's going on in the world of Stampin' Up, this is my one of my besties, Dina Rico. This is her Million Dollar Achiever bundle. And I have not used it yet. This was my first time actually using it. And I'll tell you why. This is her stamp set. She helped design this. Um, it was for her achievement, and I wanted her to have all the excitement and the glory and the recognition that goes with her million dollar bundle. And I didn't want to take away from that. Maybe that was wrong to do that. But um, I just wanted her to have her time with this. But can I just say that I had so much fun today creating with this. It is absolutely amazing. I love the watercolor images that are in here. And um, you have some two-step stamping, like here's the center that'll fit in there. And we have some leaves that you can do two-step stamping with. Oh my gosh, just so, so pretty. And I love the happy, right? Lots of good sentiments in here. So what I like to do with a stamp set like this is I like to make my own designer series paper. And so that was where my mind was going. I was like, I should make my own designer series paper. Well, what am I going to do with it? Well, how about a one sheet wonder? Boom! And that's exactly what I decided to come up with. So we are going to be using the pretty perennials for a one sheet wonder. But in the process of making that one sheet wonder, I die cut all of these little bits and pieces out of the dies, you guys, and look at how pretty they are. So, so pretty. You've got all of these. I did some vellum elements. I've got coastal, highland heather, daffodil, polished pink. There's some flirty flamingo someplace in here. Granny apple green. Did I say daffodil delight? So I've got all of these little elements that I die cut. And I wanted to show you guys how I like to do that. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna grab just a piece of cardstock here. Okay, so this is Bermuda Bay. So when I'm going to, when I want a bunch of elements to design with, I will take a bigger piece, this is just a scrap, 
and I will just start putting my dies on here and die cut a whole bunch of these at once. And that gives me all of these bits and pieces, right? One run through, you've got all the elements. So you could stack some more, you could stack some more dies on here and just absolutely go crazy with your die cutting. Now you have to make sure that they're far enough apart they're not gonna overlap because you'll wreck your dies, but this would go through my machine just perfectly. And then Lynn wants to know, how do I purchase the bundle? You go to my blog right here and in the right hand column or at the end of every blog post, you're gonna see an online ordering button or a button that takes you to my store. And then you're going to um, do a search for pretty perennials. Make sure you get the bundle because you can get the stamp set by itself. You can get the dies by themselves and they are called perennial petal dies. But you wanna make sure it says bundle, get it. It's amazing. I am just so in love with this. So anyways, that's what I like to do to get all the bits and pieces. And then I just start designing from there. So I am going to tell you how I came up with this first card. So we're going to move all these bits out of the way. This pile of flowers after I die cut it was laying just like this, right? And aren't they pretty? They're just so pretty. And I thought, oh, that would make a beautiful card. <laughs> so let me show you the beautiful card that I made with my pile. I'm gonna set these aside. Okay, this is our new polished pink cardstock. And remember, when I get done with, um, with our live tonight, with this live class, I will be taking photos and putting all of this on my blog, which you can find right here. And you can always go back there and refer to the still photos. The dimensions will be on there. There's going to be a complete shopping list. And that shopping list not only will take you to my store where you can order from me, which I always appreciate, but it'll sh it'll tell you all the different colors of the cardstock, the names of all the products, the colors of the ink, all the tools. What, you know, like, what did she call this tool again? It's going to be in that list of products. So... Just know that that's going to be available to you. Okay, so I took these four colors. We've got Daffodil, Coastal Cabana, Highland Heather, and Polished Pink. And I die cut that flower, okay, out of each one of them. I actually die cut several because we're going to be making more cards with this. This is what I ended up with. And again, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is how I decided to make my card because that was so pretty laying in a pile like that. Do you guys ever have that where you do something and you're like, oh, well, that wasn't what I intended, but that's a great idea. <laughs> okay, I have polished pink eight and a half by five and a half folded in half. I have um, basic white. This is three and three quarters by five. Basic black that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. We're going to take this and let me grab my ink pads over here because I have them all stacked for another, for the one sheet wonder that we're gonna do. Okay, Coastal Cabana. My friend Dina swears that this is the color that lets us know God loves us. <laughs> I have to agree because it's just so, so pretty, right? Okay, here we go. Now, I love this font on this happy. This is like, makes me happy just to see this. Hang on, I lost my card. So I'm going to take my Coastal Cabana ink and I'm just gonna stamp this happy right in the middle. Boom, isn't it pretty? It's just, it's already so pretty. Okay, we're gonna get out our Simply Shammy, Stampin' Shammy, I don't know what it's called, Shammy, S-H-A-M-M-Y. This is how I clean my stamps. I'm gonna clean that off right away. And then, let's see, I am going to grab the For You. So this card is gonna be a basic card. Now in this bundle, you have Happy For You, Happy birthday, you make me happy, sending lots of happy and happy mail. And of course, you could use a sentiment from any place. 
but it's nice to have all of these in here. So I'm just gonna do my For You right over my Happy. And this is just a really good example of how simple you can keep your cards, but yet still have them be spectacular. Because this is like gotta be the easiest card ever. Well, pretty close. I'm gonna grab my mini glue dots. I'm also gonna start bringing out some of my other supplies here for later. I think I got, is that everything? Yeah, I think so. So I like to use my take your pick tool. Now I could put glue on each one of these flowers, but I found that mini glue dots are gonna be better. And there is a right side and a wrong side to the dies. You can feel the cuts on them. So I'm turning them over so I'm putting my glue dots on the back. And I like to pick them up with my take your pick tool. So I'm just gonna put them all right in the middle, right over that little hole that's in the middle. And this way I won't have any glue squeezing out because they're kind of, you know, intricate. There's, there's not a lot of room to put glue on. So I thought this was a good idea. And now, are you ready for how simple this is? <laughs> we're gonna go like this with the purple. Then we're gonna go down here with our Coastal Cabana. And we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna come in with our yellow. And we're gonna overlap a little bit, just like that. And now we're gonna come in with our polished pink. And we're gonna set that right in the middle. Easiest thing ever? Yeah. Oh wait, I got glue dots everywhere now. Oh well, that's fine. Um, okay, last but not least, we have these matte black dots and I thought these would be perfect because we're using a black layer. So that's where my, you know, my brainstorm came in. And I'm gonna use the smaller dots right in the middle of each one of these flowers. And because that mini glue dot is in there, that'll help, you know, make sure these stick where they're supposed to stick. Not that they don't anyways, but it'll just reinforce them. That's what I was trying to say. And now, I am going, oh wait, I don't know why. Oh my gosh, your comments aren't scrolling. I don't know why that happens, it's weird. We're gonna take this and put it on the black. So I just got that eighth inch margin. I love that little pop behind there and especially, oh, we're gonna put some dimensionals on here. When you put this on a bright colored card base, it's just like, whoa, so awesome. Doo -doo -doo. Here we go. <gasps> What do you guys think? Is that not just the easiest thing ever? Yeah, so, so pretty. I love it. All right, hang tight. Oh, you know what? I should do some envelopes. Let me, let me grab some envelopes. So I have a need for a lot of cards. My niece is graduating from high school. My cousin's daughter just graduated from high school. Who, oh, and um, next Friday, I have to go to a service for my Aunt Mary. My Aunt Mary passed away last winter, but of course they couldn't have any type of a service for her, so they're gonna have it on Friday. Just a, you know, a celebration of life service. So, um, I need a lot of cards. <gasps> pretty, pretty. And I need one more. Oh, so I here's my other card. I should have brought that in. So I've got one out of Coastal Cabana, one out of the polished pink. So I'm going to also do a polished pink flower on my envelope. Let me clean this off. Oh, and I know I wanted to show you guys something too. Let me get this envelope done and then I'll show you a little tidbit. I accidentally inked up my Coastal Cabana ink pad with Bermuda Bay. And so I had to use a baby wipe to try and dig it all out. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? Oh, so frustrated. And then I'm gonna come in and I want one of these centers. So I'm thinking that I'll do this one. 
with that memento black ink. I'm going to get ink up pretty good. There we go. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Okay, so here's our envelope with this one. I'm going to do the same thing here. And here's our envelope for this one. Who isn't going to love seeing that in their mailbox, right? Yeah. Hi, Linda Bunce. I'm happy to see you. Okay. Clean this up. And this little bugger. Oh, I know. This is what I wanted to show you guys. So you see that dark mark in there? I don't know exactly what happened. If I dropped something in there or I don't know. I don't know what happened. But I thought I'd show you how to clean that up. This is my brand new pink, polished pink, and I don't want a spot of black in there, right? So you see how much ink I just pulled off of there? I'm gonna throw that away before it's a big mess. I'm just gonna come in and add my polished pink refill on there. Now, if I wanna use this again right away, and I do, because we're gonna be stamping with it, I'm gonna take my plastic spoon, which I always keep in my little caddy over there, and see how I just pushed that ink into there? Yeah, grab my baby wipe again. Uh-oh, where did it go? Oh, hang on, it fell on the floor. Here we go. Okay, and then I just put my spoon away, back in my little caddy, so I always have it over there. All right. That's how you fix an ink pad when you mess it up. And don't be too hard on yourself because things happen, right? Yeah. Thank you, Judith. I'm so glad to see you on here too. We've got a pretty good crowd tonight. So uh, again, these just, do they just make you happy? They really make me happy. And I think that this stamp set couldn't have been more perfect for little Miss Dina Rico because she loves happy. It's what she, um is always trying to achieve, is happy, right? So, and she does a pretty good job of it, I might add. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set these aside and we are going to get on with, so this card, by the way, this card was kind of an afterthought. Um, yeah, Elizabeth says, yeah, oh, that reminds me, this is retiring. Elizabeth said, just said she can't believe that they're not carrying this over to the new annual catalog and they didn't. So this is retiring. So I recommend that you guys wait until we're done stamping tonight and then go on my online store and buy this. <laughs> You're not never, ever going to be disappointed that you did it. Um, but anyways, very happy. I love happy cards. That card was an afterthought. And it's kind of funny how that happens because like I said, I just had everything spread out. The flowers were piled up and I went, oh, that would make a beautiful card just like that. So I had to make it. And then I had to like look at my clock and go, oh, Haley and Jared, I hope they're, I hope they give me time to finish this up. And I still needed to pick prizes for everything. And then they didn't come anyways, but that was okay. Little Miss Val or little Honey Badger, that's what we call her. Okay, so these are our note cards and envelopes, you guys. Um, basic white note cards and envelopes. You get 20 envelopes, 20 cards. People always ask me, if these are too small to mail, if the answer is absolutely not, you can mail these. Just throw a stamp on them, throw them in the mail. A little different size, which is fun. And I am pulling six out of here. Okay, six envelopes, six cards. And these are all scored for you. So I'm going to grab my film folder and burnish all the edges here so we can get ready to make our beautiful cards. So I decided to go with the One Sheet Wonder, making my own designer series paper, which I love to do. And my One Sheet Wonder, I'm making six note cards and then three other little cards because I had leftovers. So I've got a map all drawn out for you so that you can also make this easily after I sat down and figured out what the dimensions are of everything. This is, you know, this is why you watch, right? <laughs> so that you can, you can get the, all the goodies, all the details. Okay. So there's my six note cards and envelopes. I love buying these packs. They're, 
fabulous. All right, ink colors. Now, we've already got our polished pink and our coastal cabana. Then we're going to have Highland Heather, Flirty Flamingo, Little Granny Apple Green, and some Daffodil Delight. Plus, Versamark and Memento. Okay, we need a little black. Now, I've also got some rhinestones. We're going to be using those. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is grab the black. So as I was making these, one of the ideas that I had for the sentiments for my cards was white embossed on black. And I just love that pop, just like I love the black to, you know, pop on the on the um, colored card stock. It always makes it just pop so nice. I decided that white embossed on black was the way I was going to go. So here's how I went about doing it. Now remember, I at this point, I had no idea how many sentiments I would need, what exactly I was doing. I just, I didn't know. So I have a, just a scrap of black card stock here. I have Versamark ink, and I'm going to do one, two, and of course you're going to need leave enough space so that you can do whatever you're going to do with these. If you're going to punch them out, if you're going to die cut them, that says you make me. Then I've got a couple mail. Then I've got sending lots of, and I'm just going to, you know, when I emboss, I like to do a whole bunch so that I don't have to do it again. That was you make me. I already did that one. How about some birthday, 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 and then for you, for you, and you, and you. <laughs> okay, this way I can put these, whatever I don't use, I'm gonna put back in my case that I can use at any time in the future when I'm making a card using this bundle, right? So I'm just gonna pour my white embossing powder on here. Make sure I get it all nice. Doo -doo -doo. I like to put this in this container. One of my um, stamping friends gave me these containers and I believe they're from Ikea, but they're really nice and they're all stackable. She sent me a whole set for all of our powders, which was wonderful. Whoops, hang on, I just stuck my finger in it right there. That won't work. Okay, and they have a locking lid. Where'd my lid go? Right here. How many of you were watching me the day I forgot to put the lock the lid back on and I dumped my embossing powder all over the floor? Yeah. <laughs> um, Renee, I did not use the embossing buddy. We don't sell that anymore, so it's not something that I advertise, but if you have one, go ahead and use it. Okay, um, oh, here, see, she put labels on with all the colors on them and everything. Thank you so much, Jamie, you're amazing. <laughs> Okay, now you're going to take your heat tool, and mine is here someplace, and I know it's right where I can see it because I just used it and now I can't find it. Hang on. Good Lord! Oh my gosh, you guys, I just had it. Like, I'm, I just had it. Well, hmm. Huh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it went. I just used it earlier today. I didn't put it away. That would be weird. Oh, I see it. I see the cord. It was hiding by my basket. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so emboss these. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, once you get these all heat set, which I'm not going to take the time to do, you're going to end up with all of these. And like I said, when I get done with these, I'm going to put them in the back of my stamp case so I can use them on future cards, whatever I don't use here. All right, so there we go with that. Now we're going to get on to, we'll, we'll use those in a minute. We're going to get on to our one sheet wonder. I need a piece of basic white. We're going to take one piece of basic white that is eight and a half by 11. 
I'm going to bring out my grid paper. You guys know that um, you can order this, right? You can get a big, heavy grid paper pack with your any order from Stampin' Up! Like you can just order it. It's available to everyone. It's not just a demonstrator thing. So, I'm gonna keep these up here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up all my ink pads and decide which stamps are gonna go in which ones. I'm gonna move the black over here. I don't need that right at the moment. And again, we've got Polished Pink, Coastal Cabana, Highland Heather, and you can use whatever colors you want. Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, and I just picked out some colors that I thought would be really pretty. And now I'm having a hot flash because I couldn't find my heat tool. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> here we go. We're going to do Polished Pink in the Flirty Flamingo. I mean, <laughs> the big flower and the flirty flamingo. Um, we're going to do the Daffodil Delight with this flower. This little purple, or this little flower is going in purple. Then we've got this little dude in Coastal Cabana. Uh, I didn't use this flower on this part. We've got this for the black. This little polka dotty deal goes in the polished pink. And then I do have some little leaves. I'm just going to use the little leaves in the um, granny apple green. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our flirty flamingo. I always start with the biggest image first, and we're going to make our own designer series paper. And you start with the biggest image first, and then you fill in with the smaller ones. And I don't want this to be uniform. However, you are cutting it up, so I don't think it would really matter. But I want it to be not uniform. So that's kind of uniform. We're going to get away from that. And that's up just a little bit. What I found when I was doing this, that it really does use a lot of ink to stamp these bigger images. So you might need to re-ink your ink pad if you make more than one of these. And you can always go back and fill in more of these flowers. So just know that if you feel like you don't have enough. Okay, I think I'm ready to stop with that. Oops. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. Oh, you guys. Um, what did you have for supper today? I was eating some of Steve's food, and I don't want anybody hating on me, but this is what I had for supper. Hang on. Yellow, Daffodil Delight. This is our next biggest image, so that's the one that I'm going with. For dinner, Steve made the other day, he made um, chicken breast, and he cooked it in olive oil with all kinds of spices. We like to put Montreal steak seasoning on just about every meat that we make and in, in um, pasta salads and stuff like that because it's just so delicious. But he also cooked it with um, portobello mushrooms. Oh no, that was later. He put Swiss cheese on top of it, probably balsamic vinegar, mm, very delicious. And um, let me do one more right down here. Then he cooked up some portobello mushrooms and I can't think and talk at the same time tonight for some reason and onions and he caramelized them in the balsamic vinegar and in the pan that he cooked the chicken in until they were dark brown. Oh my gosh, I'm drooling. Watch out, I might get my paper wet. Um. Did I say he put Swiss cheese on the chicken breast too and melted that on top? So that's what I had for supper was leftovers. And then he cooked um, um, asparagus in the same pan with garlic and what else did he put in it? Garlic and portobello mushrooms. We like mushrooms. Oh my gosh, so delicious. So delicious. So anyways, that was my supper, which was just incredible. 
Yeah, I'm feeling kind of guilty. Okay, so that was Highland Heather. Now we're going to go with, it doesn't matter on the rest of these. So I'm just going to pick my um, Coastal Cabana. And I'm just going to start filling in the white spots. Aren't, isn't this just so cute? Now, like I said, you can do this in any color that you want. All, you know, combine whatever colors you want, whatever you need. But as I was planting all my flowers, then I came to, you know, make this project. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just wanted to use flowers because it's so pretty. Now I've got the polished pink. I was in the flower mode and I wanted this to be really colorful. So I think I, I made it. <laughs> I think I achieved exactly what I was after here. And I just went over to my ink holder and just picked out a bunch of really bright, bold, pretty colors that make me happy. Look at how happy that is. Okay, now I'm gonna take these little leaves in the granny apple green. I think I'm gonna wash this off. Where did my stamp cleaner go? Right here. Cause I know I've got some green on the edge of my stamp and if I happen to, you know, tilt it a little bit, it's gonna be a mess. So I just clean that off a little bit. Now I'm coming in with the green. I wanted to make another one of these for you guys too, but I ran out of time because like I said, I thought Haley and Jared were coming over with baby Val. And so I wanted to make sure that I had everything done, but I wanted to make another whole one of these in a different color combination, just to show you how different they can look because you could use very muted colors, you could use pastels, that would be really pretty and it would be totally different. Sometimes I like to turn these around so that I'm, oops, making sure that I'm getting, you know, very random patterns. How about right there? Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I see I've got kind of a hole here. So I'm wondering what I should do there and I'm thinking purple. Yay, okay, now. Um, oh, I know. As long as we still got all of our ink out here, this is a really cool thing to do. We've got all six of our envelopes here. So I just grabbed a piece of printer weight paper. Watch this. I came up with this earlier today too and I thought, oh, Kelly, you're so smart. <laughs> do you guys ever do that to yourself? Like you're like, oh, I can't believe I thought of that. That's how I felt. So when I'm in my office all by myself, sometimes I'll say that too, like, oh my gosh, you're so smart. <laughs> just makes me feel good about myself. I can come up with a great idea. So I'm taking this typing weight paper and I'm just pushing these envelope flaps onto here so that we can stamp them and make them beautiful to match our cards. And look at how that just fits right on there, right? We've got six envelopes, which is this, the amount of envelopes we need to go with the cards we're gonna make with the one sheet wonder. So I'm just gonna come in here and notice I stamped on both. Pretty smart, right? We're just gonna stamp all of these up as long as we have our ink out. And all the stamps are here. Whoops, that didn't, hang on. Let's see if I can match that up. I'm glad these are photopolymer. Makes life just a little bit easier. Oh, so amazed at myself sometimes. <laughs> okay, I think I need one more, just a little bit right there. Okay. So there's my 30 Flamingo. Let me get that out of the way. Then we're going to come back in. Oh, I should have left all these in here. This one. Boop. Boop. Do you guys make little noises when you say boop, 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 boop? My husband was kind of a butthead the other day. Sometimes he can do that. And um, I don't know. I saw it. I, I was singing something. Like he asked me a question and I sang him the answer. He gave me kind of a snide little comment. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't ruin my happy. <laughs> he kind of backed off right away. Do your husbands or significant others do that from time to time? It's like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to ruin my happy today. Okay, yellow. I love the yellow flower. And we'll just do that. 
just want this to be so bright and pretty so that when my people open their mailbox, they're gonna go like, oh, how cute is this? That's my goal. This fan. I'll do one right there. And then where's the rest of my colors? I got this one. Oh, purple. Where'd the purple go? Did I see the purple? Oh. oh, right here. Here we go. Pam says she loves stamping the envelope bags. This is a smarty pants idea. I know, right, Pam? <laughs> I love it. That might even need a little unicorn love. <laughs> yeah, Kathy says, not raining on my parade. Exactly, Kathy. I will not allow it. Like, if I'm in a happy mood and I want to sing an answer to you, you're going to take it. <laughs> I'm kind of sassy like that. But yeah. And he was just crabby. It's like, no, nope, not my fault, not my problem. So, I ended that. Oh, look what I did. I left it out just a little bit. <laughs> It'll be fine. One more. Here we go. Boom. Okay, so we got all of this pretty going on. Um, I didn't do the green, and that's fine. You can just do all of them, but look at, look at how stinking cute these are. Oh, you know what? I need to do the little black centers. Hang on, that'll bother me, because I do think these flowers need little centers. So let me do that quick. We got time, right? Holiday weekend, nobody has to go to work tomorrow. Well, probably some of you do, right? Did I forget to do this on my one sheet wonder? I don't recall doing this, I think I did. These little dots are perfect for the insides of the big flowers. Yeah, so what do you guys got planned for tomorrow? Anything? I think I'm going to spend it. Well, Haley's got sixth grade graduation this week, and so that's kind of throwing her for a little loop. She says she has a ton of work to do for that. So she had asked me if I would want to have Val for a little bit tomorrow. And I'm like, um, yeah, because I'm going to be leaving on Thursday to go over by my mom's house. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm buying a piece of property. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about it. Um, I'm buying a piece of property. So we're closing on that on Friday. Look, look. Oh, so pretty. So um, we're going to do the little black dots in there so I can keep yakking. And so we're closing on that Thursday morning. And it's just two acres of wooded land. It's very rustic. It's only got electricity. It doesn't have any water or sewer or any of that. But it does have an outhouse. So I'm excited about that. Um, it's better than nothing. And um, anyways, it butts up against county forests, which is awesome, right? Because everybody has access to county forests so it's like you're buying a little piece of property and then you have acres and acres and acres to have fun with and there's a creek not too far from it which is kind of like a small river it's not like a tiny little creek it's pretty substantial so I'm excited about that so I have to go close on that on Thursday and then um, I'm going by my mom's house because it's over by her house and then we're going to my Aunt Mary's um, funeral service. And then I'll be gone. So that's how I got off on that tangent. Look how pretty that is. Haley asked if I would like to take Val tomorrow. And then I have her Wednesday afternoons. I'm like, ah, yeah, I do. So I'm going to have Val. And I'm excited. Okay. This is another thing that I wanted to do with this. So I'm just going to move these all out of the way so that I don't end up wrecking things. Um... Okay, I decided I wanted to do some flicking. And so we're going to take our black marker and we're going to flick black to tone down the white that is left on my One Shape Wonder. And of course, you can do this with any color of Stampin' Right marker. You just put your tip in here and you flick it. And it really does take a little bit of pressure. Don't worry, we have never, ever broken one of our Stampin' Right markers. I don't know about other kinds, 
but Stampin' Ups, they go through this. And you can buy the black one separately. So if you want to get one just for flicking, that's not a bad idea. But you can also replace it because I use the black more than anything else. Beverly says they have about two acres, seven miles outside of town where they have their second home camper parked. Right, I'm going to put my summer home there. I know. So this land has a big garage, an insulated garage with a propane heater in it. And then it has another good size shed and then the outhouse and electrical. So I'm pretty excited. Yay! Okay, so here we go. Now we're ready to cut. So let's get this out of the way. So we're gonna put our summer home there. And then Haley and Jared, I'm so excited for them. They are going to Florida because Jared has a week of vacation and Haley gets done with school next week, Friday. So they're going to Florida and oh, I so wished I could go with them. And Haley wanted me to go with them, but I can't. So here we go, you guys. This is my one sheet wonder. And what we're gonna do is we're going to cut our paper just like this. Now you're gonna be able to come back to this video and do this, so don't worry about it. I will put this on my blog so you can see my template or mat. Right now, I'm going to cut. So, what I did first is I cut this way. So this is the eight and a half inch way. I cut it three inches, three, okay? Then I cut it three again, three. And now, I would cut it three again, except this is only going to leave me a strip this big. And that's kind of hard to handle. So you do it however you might want to do it. But what I like to do, I want half-inch strips out of the part that's going to be just the leftover. So what I like to do is I like to push that up to the half-inch right here. And cut these off until I get to the three. Does that make sense? Ready? So we're going to go by half-inch increments. I'm going to show you what I mean. I do this a lot. I back stuff off. Here, we're at three and a half. And so far, we've got four strips of this. And now, another half inch is going to put us at three. And that's exactly where I need to be. So, these were just going to be throwaway things. This whole chunk, I wasn't really going to do anything with. But now that I've got half inch increments, who can guess what I'm going to do with these? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so we've got our threes, and now we're going to cut at three again. These are our three-inch strips, three and three. Now, this isn't a whole bunch of different cards type of um, one-sheet wonder. This is just a little scrap we're going to leave right there because we don't have a whole three inches again. There's only like two inches or two and a half or something. So, again, we're cutting at three and three, and then whatever's left here. Let me see, two and a half. And there's our little leftover. So here's two, here's four. Now we're gonna have six with one more leftover. Here we go. So anyways, Haley and Jared and baby Val are going to Florida. And Steve and I are going up to our new property. Oh. So we've got two, four, six of these. And now right here on our, our template, it says cut these pieces two and a half by two and a half. Okay. Two and a half by two and a half. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is already at two and a half. So I'm going to cut it the other way at two and a half. Boom. Okay. Keep this piece. <laughs> You're being very frugal. We'll see. Boom. Keep that, keep this. Fun stuff, right? And two and a half. There we go. Oh, and I went for my bike ride today, you guys. Woohoo! I started doing my bike rides when I got home from Maui, and then it got really cold here. Like, I'm talking really cold. It snowed at my mom's house last week, which is just obscene. Okay, so these are those three two and a halfs by two and a half. So I'm just going to set those aside. We have our, oh, and these, these little bits, okay? Just set those aside. We have our six three by threes. Here's what we're gonna do. Where's my paper? Hang on, it's here someplace, here we go. 
We are going to use my instructions. We are going to take all of our colors here. So these were all my scraps that I used to die cut all these flowers and things that I have laying over here. Okay, so I just die cut a whole bunch. Plus, I've got some vellum. So this is our vellum cardstock, and that makes some really neat flower elements also. So I just die cut a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, those are my scraps. Here comes my three and an eighth by three and an eighth. And this is what I'm going to do with my three by three pieces. As I'm going to, I'm going to find one. Here we go. I'm going to add these. My One Sheet Wonder Designer Series paper that I made. Hang on, I got that pretty crooked. To all these layers. So that was Polished Pink. This is Flirty Flamingo. Again, three and an eighth by three and an eighth. Flirty Flamingo. Then I've got Highland Heather. It was between that and Gorgeous Grape, but I thought Gorgeous Grape would be just a little bit too dark for what I was doing here, but whatever. Anything would have worked. Here comes Daffodil Delight. Here we go. So yeah, my niece is um, graduating. I think she graduated this weekend, actually. Nobody can go, of course, because there can only be like four people there. But we're having a party for her on the 26th, and I'm so excited for her. She is the sweetest, nicest girl, and she's just really been through hell the last couple of years. So I'm really, really happy she got to graduate with her class. You know, not, not only COVID, but other issues too. <gasps> Look how cute these are. What, what? Okay, now this is what we're going to do. Where did our cards go? We've got all our cute envelopes here that match. Here's all of our note cards. Where did my piercing mat go? Right here. I'm gonna bring this in. I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna take each one of these and we are going to take our memento and our happy stamp, which is right here. And here's what I did. I stamped happy on the bottom in black, okay, on each one of these. Note cards. And this is just like the easiest way ever to make up a whole set of cards. And you guys know, I love to give gift sets, right? So this is another really nice little gift set idea that you can give to family and friends or donate. Like you could totally take this. Like if you don't have any family and friends nearby that you could give this to, you could take this to your teller at your bank that you always deal with or the lady at the grocery store that always checks you out. Not checks you out like, hey, how are you doing? But checks you out and helps you buy your groceries. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped in my head. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to take each one of these. And of course, you could add ribbon. You could do all kinds of stuff, but I wanted to keep this fairly simple. Look at how cute that is, right? Oh, my gosh. And I think I'm going to give this whole set of cards to my niece that's graduating because she's probably going to need some cards, right? She's very artsy, so she might have already made some, but I know she'll appreciate these too. And I got to show these to Dina because, well, it's her stamp set bundle, so she needs to see all of this. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, thank you guys for all the hearts. I was a little unsure about the Granny Apple Green one, but I just thought it was cute, right? All the colors. Here we go. Okay, so this isn't enough for me. It could be, but it's not. So now we're gonna take all of those black pieces if we didn't like completely lose them somewhere. 
Yeah. Oh, here they are, right here. So then what I did with these is um, I took and I started cutting them apart. So I'm going to cut, just like this, a strip with the words on them, embossed in white embossing powder on black. And... You know what, and as I was doing this, I was thinking too, you could even make a little kit where you could just give them all of these and let them put their own sentiments on the cards. Where did the rest of my, oh, there it is. Okay, so I've got you make me. So you comes first, you. And I'll go just like this, you. Make. Margaret said she loves the stamp set. It's her favorite flowers to stamp. Yeah, I'm telling you. You know, um, sometimes I think, oh, do I really need another set of flowers? But don't ask yourself that with this one because you do. It's it's just the coolest one ever. Okay, so look how cute that is, right? And then remember all these little floral elements that I have here. Let's take, this one's Flirty Flamingo. Where is my, here's my coastal, here's my coastal one. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one. Do I have any more? Um, hang on, we got this. We can do this with this oh that's cute right I thought I had some more bigger flowers too but I guess I don't what would this look like if we put it under there offset it yeah not really you really it's really not making that big of a difference so um I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one maybe do this oh that's kind of cute right do a little thing in the middle. Yep, I'm going to add some glue to this. So I got all these flowers, and now you can just put them, mix and match them until you get, I got pink. Look at I got pink ink under my fingernail. I see it because it's on the edge of the vellum. Let me get that thing off. Oh, yeah, lots of it. I don't know how I did that. Ew. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, and then I think maybe I'll put this little bugger in the middle. Yeah, that kind of is a lot. Um, I'm gonna put this on my on my card, and I think I'll put it probably right here. And then we'll grab one of our rhinestones and we'll put that in here. Uh, yeah. Well, that flower doesn't really show up that good. Here, let's do this. Oh, here's this. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. We're going to do this. We're going to see if we can layer these together. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like the toned down a little bit, right? And then we'll use a dimensional. Much better. And I'm just going to put this right in the middle, right here. And then... We've got sending lots of, so you guys getting the idea here? You can mix and match all the words, but like I said, when you do these, just make a whole bunch of them and you can throw them right back in the stamp case to use in the future so you don't have to get out all your embossing powder and all this stuff again, right? I just, that's the way I do it. I like doing it that way. Okay, here comes sending. Lots. Of. Pepe. Oops. There we go. And then I want some more rhinestones. Stay. How about just another one right there? Look how cute that is. Okay, you guys get the idea, right? 
So now we've got all of these. These are, oh, this is the one I just made. So we've got that one and that one. I didn't put a flower on this one yet. We've got all of these envelopes, all of these envelopes. But what about those other little pieces? So how about these, these long pieces like this? What are we gonna do with those? Well, let me show you. We're gonna put them on the inside. That's exactly what we're gonna do with them. So I'm going to do my little strip like this. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white on one side. And otherwise we would just throw these away. But why? When we can make somebody else happy, right? Okay, so there we go. Take all of these little strips and put them on the inside like that. And then remember those three pieces that were left over that aren't three by three, but they're two and a half by two and a half. What are we gonna do with those? Well, let me show you. <laughs> Cause I just kept having so much fun. We are going to use our little three by three envelopes. These are all little envelopes and we, we need three of them. Okay, you get 40 in a pack for $10, but look how cute they are. Do you guys ever take a present and you know those little cards you can put on a present instead of a great big card? Well, that's what this would be for. So I've got some flirty flamingo in three by six and you're gonna fold it and burnish that fold right in the middle. So again, this is three by six, Coastal Cabana and Daffodil Delight. And then we're gonna take these three little dudes <clears throat> and we're going to mount them on black. And our black layer is just an eighth of an inch bigger. So this is two and a half by two and a half on the white. And then we've got two and five eighths by two and five eighths on the black. So again, you just get that little oops, pop of black. On our note cards and envelopes, we did colored cardstock, but now we're gonna do black because it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm like, where's my other one? Oops, I shouldn't have put my glue way down there. Let me wipe that on my pants. <laughs> There we go. And then we're gonna glue these right on here. Right in the middle. And now remember those little tiny, these little tiny pieces that I said don't throw away? Yeah, well, guess what? You can go just like this. Put those right on the inside here. Yeah, cute. Okay, and now the other thing that I wanted to do here is for you. That's the sentiment that works with this card because we don't, we didn't stamp happy on it, right? We just stamped the flowers. So the other sentiments are kind of would be weird. <laughs> don't let your sentiments be weird. I'm going to put a little flag on the end of this one. Oops, I thought I had it. There we go. And then a little bit of glue for you. So instead of happy, we're just gonna do for you. And then we can take all of our little, oops, all of our little flowers. Here we go. We can do this. And how about that? Just gonna glue this on here. Again, just pulling from all those die cut elements. Then we'll put oh, my dimensional, which I had kind of lost somewhere. Here's some black dimensionals. The black dimensional, and we can just put that eh, how about just right down here. Any place you want. That one looks kind of dumb, but you get the idea, right? Okay, the other thing I'm going to show you 
Here's all our, our little envelopes, but I have these all done because, well, you get the idea, right? Look how cute that is. <gasps> so cute! And here's another one. You can see my flowers that I used there. Got the, oh, I forgot my rhinestone here. Let me get a rhinestone on it right in the middle. Is that just that little bit of bling, right? We got the for you, the for you, and here's another one for you. What do you guys think? Aren't those cute? There's our insides. Yeah. And then here's my envelopes. So this is an envelope. Go with my yellow one here. And this fits right in here. Isn't that cute? Here's another envelope. Put the happy on there with the flower. And here's another little envelope to go with these. So I'm going to move these off to the side. And we've got, I'm going to make sure I don't lose that. We've got all of these. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do, you guys, is I wanted to make a box to put all these in. Fun, right? We don't have time for me to show you that box tonight, and I actually haven't made it yet. But I'm thinking maybe that would be a great project for next Sunday. What do you guys think? Is that a good idea? So here, I'll show you the rest of these. This I put a little bit of the green um, leaf, this particular die right here. Yeah, that's sticking out there, the vellum, pretty, pretty, those rhinestones on there. Here's another one, sending lots of happy. This one I didn't put anything on, I just put happy. Then we've got the strip on the inside there. Another one on here. Uh, this one goes down the side instead. I love that purple happy birthday. Here's sending lots of happy. And here's just another one. So we have all of these. This was so much fun. I can't even tell you how much fun. And the ideas, the ideas just kept popping in my head like, oh, I wish I had time to do this. And oh, I wish I had time to do that for tonight. And it's like, no, Haley and Val might come over and Jared. But they didn't, so whatever. Um, I'll see her tomorrow. I'm missing one, two, three, four, five. Where's my other one? I should have another with a flower on it. Oh, I don't know where it is. But um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe it's just, is this the one I just made? I don't know. Anyways, here's six. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where it went. Um. Oh, here's another one. Uh, oh yeah, that's the one we just made. I'll finish those up later. And then we have these cutie patooties. Right? Like, how much happy can you guys stand in one night? I don't even know. <laughs> Look at all the happy. Dina Rico, your stamp set rocks, my friend. Absolutely knocked it out of the park. It is beyond amazing, and I love it, and I am so sad it's retiring. And I want you guys to make sure that you get it before it's gone. Now, remember... This is my current host code. You can use that if your order's under $150. If your order's over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have them. This is my blog. You can head right over there and you're gonna find my online store button. You're gonna find a complete ingredient list. All the colors, all the tools I've used, Ah, this is called Pretty Perennials. You definitely want the bundles so you can get it with the dies. And those are called Perennial Petals. Look here. See, and I always put all of these extra pieces in here so the next time I am, you know, making stuff, I have all these cut. I did some leaves out of the vellum. That was really cool. Now make sure if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. It's what keeps me in business and keeps these free videos coming your way. Um, so if you would like the newest catalog, we just had a brand new catalog come out. Let me see if I can unbury it here. This is our brand new annual catalog just started in May. And it's got some of the most gorgeous ideas in it. I would be happy to send this to you if you don't have one. 
But like I said, I always appreciate your orders. And I think I am going to close up my ink pads and then I'll show you guys. Are you guys have enough time? What time is it? Do you have enough time to see the stuff that I brought home from Mali? What time is it? 8.25? Yeah, I've got a few minutes, don't I? I don't like to keep you too long. I know it's a family weekend, but it is a holiday weekend and I don't... Most of you probably don't have to work tomorrow, right? Aw, oh, Diane says you did an awesome job with Dina's stamp set. Thank you so much, Diane. I can't hardly wait to show Dina the cards that I made because I know she's going to love them. I just knew it. Okay, all the ink pads are closed now. And I am going to move my stamps so that I don't drop any of my Maui goodies. They're, they're all dirty yet. I don't want to drop any of my goodies in <laughs> the ink, right? Because Lord knows that's probably exactly what I do. And I'll clean these a little bit later. Let's see what I can do here. Sorry for the delay. I don't usually have to pick up this much. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna move all this stuff. I get all this stuff out of the way. Oh my gosh, I love these. I love them, I love them. Oh, I just love them. Okay, enough Kelly, enough, really? No, I do, I love them. <laughs> oh, go. Okay, here we go. There are cards everywhere. That's a lot of cards to make, right? One Sheet Wonder, where did that template go, you guys? I wanted to show that to you one more time. Here it is, right here. Okay, now I'll go get my Maui stuff. So I wanted to wear this hat, but I completely forgot. Here's our Maui hat. I was wearing it like a sombrero the other day. It was pretty funny. <laughs> but we got this beautiful, beautiful hat from Stampin' Up! as one of our gifts. They give us gifts every, every, um, every trip. And Jean just asked, when are you and Dina doing a road trip to Wyoming? Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to leave... Uh, two weeks from today, Jean. So yeah, we got, and we got that going on. That's another reason why I couldn't go with Haley to Florida. But <laughs> um, Jolene is asking if this is in the mini catalog. Yes, Jolene. It's on page 31. It's called Pretty Perennials. So you've got the die set here, the stamp set here, and here's the bundle information. Definitely get yourself this bundle. It's crazy crazy cool. Ah, Susan said, I'm sure Dina will be so proud that you used her set. I know she will be. Like I said, I really held off using it for a long time because I wanted her to have her, her moment with it. You know what I mean? Okay. So we got this fun beach hat and then we got this amazing beach towel and it's round. So that's really different, right? But I'm thinking you could use it as a tablecloth also because it's round, but this was beautiful. It's got little fringy deals on the bottom. That came in this, oh my goodness, amazing bag. Yeah, this whole big beach bag. So lots of fun. Stampin' Up! is really good about all the goodies they give us and it's always like, wow, crazy. And I see something I need to throw it away. Okay, so here's the rest of the stuff. First of all, we have Barb, Flat Barb and the Sheriff. They always go on trips with us. So I'm bringing them back safe and sound. They had a lot of fun in the jungle. They enjoyed the volcanoes, but weren't so keen on the snorkeling. Okay. <laughs> These are the big signs that hang on the Trip Achievers doors. So everybody that's there in Maui has this hanging on their door if they're from Stampin' Up. Um, April says tree skirt, and I kind of wondered about that too, April, but there's no slit in it. It's just a round beach towel, so yeah, pretty weird, right? But anyways, these were hanging on everybody's doors, and we always bring these home and then hang them in our offices because that's kind of cool. What else? Oh, 
I like to get a magnet, and this is the one that I chose. How funny is he? Yeah. <laughs> he makes me laugh. I'm not going to lie. I thought he was a great magnet. So I got my little Hawaii magnet. Maybe he'll stick with stick. No. No, he's not sticking to the round thing. I wonder if he'll stick to my computer. No. But he does stick to my filing cabinet. So uh, next up, this plate. Nothing special. It's interesting. But it came with a big cellophane thing wrapped around it with all kinds of goodies in it, and I ate them. So um, this was our welcome gift when we got to our room, I think. Oh, got to show you this. Steve and I both got a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. We usually get Maui gyms, but this time it was Ray-Ban, and I chose to get the aviators. Yeah, and they look pretty sexy, I might add. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Val did. Judith, Val loved the magnet. She thought it was pretty funny. And that's kind of why I got it, because I thought it would be funny too. Okay, next up. Oh, these look really good. Um, Honolulu cookie. So Stampin' Up bought, when you, if you went on this trip, if you earned two trips, you know, remember one got canceled. So then we did Maui, like we were supposed to do Maui last year, but didn't. So then you have people on this trip that got last year's and this year's. So they were called the Maui Elite Achievers. We got an extra excursion, which was amazing. We went, um, oh, that's a really good idea, Deb, that it's this take on the diorama. I don't think so. But that's interesting because it looks like it, right? But anyways, we went um, on a snorkeling excursion. It was crazy awesome. I chased a sea turtle, not like harassed it, chased it, but I kept following a sea turtle under the water to get film of it. I bought one of those waterproof bags for my camera, for my phone. And so I was trying to take pictures of the sea turtle as I was following it in the ocean. And every time I tried to take a picture, it, um, it would flip to video and I was getting so frustrated and finally I just kind of gave up and I was already way far away from the boat and then Steve he was kind of with me and I said yeah I think we're too far away from the boat now we need to go back to the boat and so he turned around and hightailed it to the boat and of course he's a faster swimmer than I am and so here I am way out here and he's way up here and I'm like dude I watch Shark Week this is how people get eaten like, wait for me. It's always the last person, the slowest person gets eaten by the shark. <laughs> so I thought, well, at least I made it to the boat. Nobody got eaten by the shark. But um, I thought for sure that I would have some video of this sea turtle because my camera kept going to video. But guess what? I got nothing. Nothing. I got no pictures. I got no video. I got nothing. But I do have some pictures of somebody else's sea turtles. So I'll try to share those with you. <laughs> That's very frustrating. Okay, so then I bought these and I thought these were so cool, right? And these are salad. You know, to do this with the salad. And then you can serve your salad with this too. I thought these were so cool. So I got those. And they're made out of monkey wood or something, I think. Something like that. Oh, that's nice. They're made in the Philippines. So there you have it. Whatever. <laughs> okay, next up. We have dyes. These are the seasonal label dyes. We got the Christmas season stamp set. We got the pretty pillow box dyes. These look really yummy. Little pillow box. Fancy. Candy cane background stamp. <gasps> Heartfelt Wishes. These are all coming out of the new holiday mini catalog. And Pam says, Turtle Stalker. Yep, that's me. <laughs> then we got, this is a Merry Melody 3D embossing folder with musical notes on it. I think that's going to be gorgeous. And this designer series paper, which I didn't open yet. So let me get it open for you guys. Here we go. Ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Oops, let me take it a little bit more. 
Oh my goodness, traditional Christmas colors and patterns. Oh, I love it. I haven't even seen this yet, you guys. Look at how cute it is. I'm sure there's dyes to cut these out, right? Yeah. Delicious! This is called Gingerbread and Peppermint 6x6. Six six. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys too. Um, bingo packets, um, half of them went out yesterday. The other half will go out on Monday. Hand-penned class. If you ordered the add-on of the Memories and More cards, they're on back order. I think they're coming in this week. I'm going to hang on to them till they get here. Catalog kickoff going out early this week. And also something else. Bingo. hand pen, Quiet Meadow. That already went out. So we're in good shape. Just want to let you know what was going on with those. This is so pretty. This is the silver foil. Oh, and then you have to see these. All these are like given to us, all decorated, wrapped in ribbon, all kinds of fancy stuff. But look at this. These are called Subtle Shimmer Sequins. Look how pretty they are. Aren't those gorgeous? They almost look kind of seashelly and silver and oh man, they're falling out. Nah. There we go. Okay, so we got those. Where'd that little bag go? Right there. And then this is beautiful. And you see like that's kind of purplish? This is our silver foil. Look at, we got silver, kind of dulled purplish silver, and then this. <gasps> so pretty. And you get three sheets, one of each, in a pack. So this is cool. Yeah, let me get it back in here. I don't want it to get wrecked. Then I'll get all this stuff put away. I had to keep it in a pile so I could remember to show it to you guys. Otherwise, it gets put away and then I forget, you know? You know how it is. Okay, so you got that. What's this? Oh, this was another gift. This is a solar battery pack that Stampin' Up! had made. So you put it out in the sun and then you can charge your devices with it if they're going low. So that was pretty cool. I always like to get myself a little piece of jewelry. Like when we were in um, Greece, I bought this giant ring. Oh, I love it. I, you guys see me wear it almost all the time. So that was a good purchase, right? This I bought from the store at our, we were at the Grand Waela Resort. And this is my newest necklace, and you're going to see me wearing it a lot because I love all those different colored beads in there. This is a Brighton necklace, and I like their products because they do fancy things like this. Yeah. I have a little story about Brighton, but I'll share that another time. Okay, let me see what else we got here. We, with our beach bag, we got some mineral sunscreen, 50 sunscreen, so that was nice. All of our stuff came wrapped in this beautiful peach ribbon with all of these pretty little um, labels on them. I have the holiday mini catalog, which I wish I could show you, but I cannot show you anything more than this, you guys. I know, I'm such a tease. No, it's against policy. I could get fired. This was our farewell necklace, and I, you guys see me wear a gold necklace that has two things hanging down. That is for being in the top 100 in the company globally, and so this is our um, Maui necklace that Stampin' Up! gave us. So, oh, I love, I love their jewelry that they give us. It's so nice. And what else do I have here? Everything came in these little... Our gifts came with all these little cards. This says, we hope you enjoy your exclusive Stampin' Up! excursion this week. We're excited to provide this opportunity as a pillow gift so you can create memorable experiences that last a lifetime. A great side effect of experienced pillow gifts is they're easier on your luggage weight limits for your trip home too. <laughs> and we also got a $100 gift card. The Maui Elite got a $100 gift card to a Visa card you could spend, you know, wherever, whatever. Um, I gotta tell you about these because that was our cute little story. Here's some black and white gingham ribbon that we got out of the mini catalog. 
And what else do I have here? Oh, and a little necklace. I don't know what that was for. We were supposed to wear it, but Steve put mine in his backpack and then he couldn't find it. And so I never did wear it. <laughs> um, my friend Lori Krause, she always makes us gifts. Look at this. It's getting kind of ratty because it's been through a lot. It says, Kelly, vacation is always fun when you're on it with me, Lori. And these are our little boxes that we have in the new catalog. And look at, do you guys recognize this? This was our tropical trinkets. And Lori always makes jewelry. And it's funny that I'm holding this up. She made this out of some Stampin' Up! embellishments. And I put that on tonight just because it was laying on my um, desk. And I thought, oh, I should wear this. But yeah, Lori made that for me too and this. So cute little way to package a box. And it was perfect for our Maui trip, right? Okay. Hang on, we got a couple more things here, and then I will let you guys go. Whoops! Oh, I got I gotta show you this too. Ugh. Here we go. This I bought because I have keys that don't have nice key rings. Like I've got a drop box on my front porch for people to put their checks in and stuff like that. But I got this as a nice little Maui memory thing. It says um, Maui Grand Waiela. And it's a sea turtle, and it's quite substantial. And I thought I could just use that for some of my keys that don't have key rings on them as a nice little memento, right? Okay. Oh, I got to show you this. So, where did the other thing go? Right here. When we got, well, on Tuesday, we got to the Grand Wahala on Saturday, right? But um, the other achievers were coming in on Everybody was going to be there on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, we happened to come into the lobby. And there was a whole group of Stampin' Up! demonstrators that live in Hawaii, um, on the Maui Island. And they were handing out these things and welcoming us to their state. And it was just the coolest thing. So this is some um, hand sanitizer. And look at how cute that is, right? And then here's some little Hawaiian goodies that I have managed to not eat <laughs> until I'm going to eat them now. But um, it's from Ramona Corson and Jane Kimazuka. They are the Maui Pink Passion Stampers. Isn't that cute? Look at that little guy. So anyways, I just thought that was so sweet, right? And they were all there saying, welcome to Hawaii. It was just the coolest thing. Okay. Here comes our next paper. This is Sweet Stockings. Look at this, you guys. Nah. We've got retrievers and cats and mice. And here we go. We got all kinds of dogs and cats. Here's some more. <laughs> this is so cute. Some stockings. Great traditional Christmas colors and some more patterns with some dogs and cats, little corgis. My, um, one of my team members, Jody, was excited that there were corgis. And she's like, when I first showed her this, she's like, where's the corgis? And I said, well, I think they have some. And then she's like, oh my gosh, they do. Cause she has corgis and loves them. Look at how pretty, right? So this is some of our Christmas paper in that mini catalog. And last but not least, this is called Painted Christmas. And again, kind of traditional Christmas colors, right? The green and the red. That's very interesting. Sometimes we go with some real off-the-wall colors. It's whatever the colors are that are trending for the season. Yeah, so I got all of these as gifts. Or every day you go to the hospitality room, which is the Stampin' Up! room. I love this. And you spin the wheel and you win prizes. Yeah, every single day, you guys. Every day we get a gift in our room. It's The trip is amazing. It's just amazing. Look at, oh, I love this too. So pretty, right? So there you go. That is the end for me from Hawaii. And I think that I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll try to work my mail in at other times. Because I know you guys probably have other things to do with your life tonight. I don't want to keep you. We have tiny hands to say bye-bye everybody. 
I hope you have a wonderful holiday tomorrow. And um, thank you so much for tuning in with me. Don't forget, I always appreciate your orders. Click that share button. That really helps me out. Give me a thumbs up. That's really helpful in all the analytics with Stampin' Up. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate that you guys spent your Sunday night with me. Have a great week. I'll be back next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. And I'm going to make a box that matches our fun One Sheet Wonder cards. Yay! Okay, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.